um, the Patriots in that matchup just because I want to see what this offense is going to look like. We know it's very pedestrian with the wide receivers. They added some tight ends as well. You know, whether it's Cam Newton or Matt Jones, they have to have some guys that are, are explosive, that can put, that can um, do a lot of yak damage. That's yards after the catch. And then also, too, I think Nikhil Harry has put himself requesting a trade, but also has put more pressure on them to perform. He's a first over, he's a first round pick. You expect big numbers, didn't have big numbers, so we'll be interested to see how that fans out with um, the Green with the New England Patriots and just their offense collectively with the playmakers on the outside. And speaking of first round picks at Washington, defensive line loaded with first round picks. They helped Washington to the division title last season. Sean, what do you want to see from them on Thursday night? Yeah, Omar, I mean, and that's just it. They're loaded up front, and if you're any offensive lineman, when you you got to break the huddle and you look at all those all those thoroughbreds, it's certainly a challenge. So for Washington, that that was the strength of their team last year. That's how they won the division. And while I know all eyes are on the quarterback and Ryan Fitzpatrick, and you know Steve was talking about the Patriots' offense and Cam Newton and Mac Jones. Look, somebody's got to protect those quarterbacks. So you're looking at Chase Young right there, the rookie defensive player of the year uh, last year. Uh, they just locked up uh, Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne, Montez Sweat. Those guys are, are, are phenomenal players. They're not just pass rushers. I mean, you've got to block them on first and second down uh, in, in t as, as well as third down. Uh, but I, I think that, that that is definitely the strength of the team. And it's just going to be fun, I think, to, to see Ron Rivera coaching in a game against Cam Newton, who was his former quarterback. I'm sure there will be some interaction there before and after the game. Yeah, that'll be fun to watch. I was up in Oxnard yesterday for that Rams and Cowboys scrimmage, and that Cowboys offense looked explosive, even without Dak Prescott. And on their way back to Texas from Oxnard, the Cowboys are stopping over